Hi guys, today we are going to compare the uh, Sonom XP8 with the Smith & Wesson SD9. The uh, Sonom brand is a company that builds military grade phones and they're built tough. And uh, they're designed to withstand impacts. They can take heat, people try to run them over, they can be submerged in water. Boiled in water. It's basically one of the most rugged brands there is, and you know, and it's not not by any means a knockoff. And honestly, I wanted to find something that has a similar build because this is definitely a man's phone. Let's take a look at it. It's got push to talk. You can program set these keys for to perform other functions such as opening up a camera or an app. Uh, emergency button here, expansion ports, huge battery. Um, this is basically one of the most manly phones you can buy. And there's the Smith and Wesson SD9. Let's compare the the weight of the of the Sonom XP8 with the Smith and Wesson SD9. Okay, it's a heavy phone, but it's built tough. It's a uh, 12.14 ounces. And we're going to pause the video for a second while we load up the SD9. Okay, we have loaded up the SD9, and we want to be very careful with it. The clip is in. Uh, and let's see. It does feel a lot heavier. It's about double the weight, but it's uh, 28.72 ounces. And uh, I just wanted to show that the build quality of the of this phone reminds me of carrying one of these. It's definitely a, something that a uh, man would really love. Just very well constructed, very masculine. Let's talk about the specs. I am not at the range, so I cannot give a demonstration of the SD9. But, and honestly, when you carry a Sonom XD8, it feels a lot like you're carrying something like this. An SD9, it's a, it's a man's phone. And that's all I really wanted to, to point out by making this comparison video. The uh, Sonom XP8 has a 5 inch LCD. It's got dual SIM, um, 1080 by 1920 pixel resolution, 16 to 9 aspect ratio. Snapdragon 630 processor, 64 gigs of expandable storage, 4 gigabytes of RAM, and a 12 megapixel rear shooter, 8 megapixel selfie camera. I'm going to turn on for you. The speakers are incredibly loud. This is uh, a, a working man's phone also. It can withstand the weather. You do not need a case for it. But you can get a case if you, you know, for aesthetics. Let's give a demo on the, uh, the audio quality. I'm so sorry. Okay, this is live audio from Universal Studios. I know, I'm so sorry. I do feel bad though. Does that count for anything? We are not even halfway turned up and that's incredibly loud. I do love that though. Alright, let's skip this intro stuff. Help me. 
Okay, let's crank it up. Nice and loud speakers. There are other videos up on YouTube that you can watch on this particular phone uh, with people doing incredible things to it. it this is a rugged phone. This is a sticky back on there. Um, I am going to do more videos on this phone and show you some nice cases that you can get for it. I definitely like this phone because it, it, it's designed to take a beating. It can be out there in the rain. This is, I live in Florida. It's a hurricane state. I can definitely take this and leave it outside during the hurricane and film the hurricanes and just have a lot of fun with this. It, uh, it stands out. It's, you know, you can be like everybody else and have the same iPhone or you can have something like this that is rugged, built tough. A lot of people think it's a satellite phone because it looks like a satellite phone. Um, so anyhow, if you have one of these, comment. I actually picked this one up used. I'm using it on the Cricut network with no problems. Any AT&T phone will work on the Cricut network. You do not have to unlock it. Um, and if you're a Smith & Wesson fan, this is a great, uh, great piece right here, too. I'm going to stop the video there. I will be doing more videos on this. Cricket users, I recommend this phone. If you're looking for a, a very masculine phone, this is the phone for you. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.